massive delay. I've had a few issues happen. Mainly, I lost the SD card that I had all the data on. I was filming on my camera. Now I'm filming on my cell phone. If you see me looking away, it's because I've got F1 on the TV. It's muted so you guys won't be able to hear it. I don't think you want to hear people talking a load of drivel just about cars. Some of you might, some of you might not. I don't really know. Depends on what your view and angle is on motorsports. But yeah, it's the only thing on TV at the moment. So now, down to business. Hopefully, this set of videos, I don't know how many are going to be, will become a bit of a mini series of its own. As you may notice in the title, it is now called Transition Transmission. I was toying with the idea, I think I said it in my first video, I can't really fully remember, but yeah. <clears throat> Let's just see how this goes. I'm just going to dive straight into where I am. In my path on my part of the transition now, I'm up to the point of after talking to my specialist, I'm waiting now for the decision to come through from his and all of his peers' findings and discussions about where I am, their findings, my path, where they want me to end up, or where they feel I would end up through anyway. What will be better for me, mentally and physically? Path one, which is more of the same, just going back and forth, talking all the time, talking to the, him and possibly another specialist, going through all that. All that yada yada. That's just the simple part of it. The second one is one or two more talks whilst going through medications, or at least a pause and then starting medications after maybe one or two more talks. They will then roll it on and then start with all of that. Well, the third one, which is what I'm hoping for anyway, is that we will go straight through. The findings will be that I can go straight on. We will talk about the medications. Now, start the medications. So we're starting the hormone treatment, male hormone blockers, female estrogen. Going through all of that, and then getting vocal training, and then possibly going on for laser hair removal because having facial hair is really annoying. Finding someone, well, me anyway, finding someone who is close by to me who can help me with makeup and hair. And moving on with my dressing. Yes, I have press forms in. It's a simple thing. I find them quite cheaply on eBay. And some of you out there might be able to find some. Some of you might not. Depends on your skin tone. And for some reason, I've noticed that there's not many places, especially if you are of colour, that do decent colour form. It's a little more tricky. Apparently, I don't really know. But for me, I know this is probably a little bit over. I don't really know. No one knows where you're going to end up with where your breasts are going to come out, especially once you start forming everything. Once I start with the hormones, I will have to stop wearing these at some point because they are quite heavy and they do put a bit of pressure force around the chest. Another part of what I wanted to talk about is don't ever let anybody get you down. Don't let anyone get in your head. Don't let anyone drag you down. If someone gives you shit, smile and wave. Just smile and wave. Ignore them. Don't let them get to you. Have someone close by who you can talk to. Who you can literally just lean on and cry. If you need it, go find them. It's going to be the better option for you. Because you're going to need someone to talk to. I know that one from experience. You do need someone to talk to. Because going through all of this is very, very stressful. You really have to think hard on yourself. Every day you question yourself. You wake up, you question yourself. You look in the mirror to have a shave, you question yourself. You choose what to put on, you question yourself. Mainly because of the way society in certain places looks upon you. Now, I live in a small-ish town where things are developing a little bit. I am closely surrounded by Manchester and Liverpool and Preston and Blackpool. Places where it is a little more LGBT friendly. Preston, not so much. Because it's still technically kind of like that northern town. The bigger cities... 
want to see certain things like Blackpool are a bit more friendly because it is a bit more open. Where in Manchester you have the Gay Village or Canal Street, as some people will just know it as Canal Street. As of filming, Gay Pride in Manchester is going on. I can't get there because the trains in my area have stopped running because we've got we have disputes and we also have a lot of engineering works. I will go into the engineering works and all of that lot in a further video, I know that. I like my engineering and I like my nerdy sciencey stuff and I like my technology. So I will go into the trains and the electrification project, hopefully, on that at a later date. There are other there are other things going on around here, like I'm still waiting to find out the spade in the ground date. For when the cinema here will be opening because this has been delayed so is the electrification project there's a lot of things around here that are going on and that are being delayed now back to where i was because i just rambled on again pulling along onto yourself you need confidence a lot of confidence you may feel comfortable around the house walking around in a dress or in your heels or in wearing makeup, if you can do makeup, and having your hair done a certain way, having your breast forms in, whatever. You might feel confident. The moment you walk out your door, you're very unsure of how people are going to look upon you. For some odd reason, you get sneered at, you get spat at, you get hated. Just ignore them. Have your best friend, have your partner with you. Do what you need. If you need to take a breath, slow down. So slow down smile and wave at it it's their problem if they don't like it it's not yours it's their problem they're the narrow-minded bigot you are not the idiot you are you you are the only you that there is what is best for you is most likely not best for them they wouldn't possibly understand most of them say that they don't understand yet if you allow them the chance to understand they don't want to understand so they want to stay in that small-minded little world. Bye bye. Leave them. Leave those people behind. If it means you lose friends because of what you're doing, it's better for you to have a smaller circle of friends than a wide circle of friends with poisonous, vile people. It is a lot better for you. I know that one from experience. There is a lot of things you need to concentrate on more more on yourself than on any of these idiotic self-centered small-minded people don't let them put you down stay firm on your view and your belief don't let them cloud your judgment because letting them cloud your judgment is letting them win you are the most important part in this what you need is people around you that care for you Love you no matter what, and will always support you. Even if they don't perfectly understand themselves, always have good friends. If it means you have to change where you go out for a meal, where you go drinking, so you have to. This is part of all of this. The hardest part of doing this is the first steps. The biggest deal is the first steps out of your door in aspect anyway walking out your door give every one of you of who you are and what you are and what you believe you are is the best thing for you to do when you're comfortable at it and when you're at a comfortable point don't force yourself into doing things small steps always take small steps if it means that you have have lazy days and you sit back and watch YouTube videos like this. Or you sit back and you play video games. Or you just watch movies and you just binge watch. And you just watch Netflix or you just watch your favourite DVD or your favourite movies. Whatever. Whatever works for you is going to work. It's going to be something you're going to need. If you like reading books and listening to music, fine. I can tell you right now. I enjoy reading the Five Nights at Freddy's series. I'm not brilliant at the games. I won't be doing any game view on that because I am incredibly atrocious at the games. 
I can't really get past certain points. The jump scares don't bother me so much. I just don't have that ability to actually think. I can think in logical path, but I can't think back forth, back forth, back forth. But the books give me more of an insight into how I feel about the series. How it would flow and it gives my brain more time to interact with itself. Because I can view up of how Dave looks and how Charlie looks and how this person, that person, how this rolls, how that creature moves, how the environment, how it would taste and smell, all that. And it allows your brain to think, just run and run. So if you need to dive into the world of a book or a movie or a game, that's all fine. Something you are going to need. But don't, whatever you do, don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. If you are someone of religion, then maybe talking to someone who understands you in the church or of your faith is going to help you. I don't know. I don't go to church. I'm not one of the people of religion. I don't really see that part of me. I do talk to people in the church because where I live I'm surrounded by lots of Mormons. There's a couple of Catholics and there's a couple of people who are C of E, Church of England. I talk to them about things and they just, some of them just brush it off and say it's a phase or just don't really care. There's one or two people that will listen to me and I will talk to. They don't fully understand. They won't ever really be able to understand because everyone is different in that aspect. But the whole point of it is just being true to yourself. If, if there is a barrier in the way and you can't get through it, maybe you need to separate out each branch of it and move it on. Sometimes you might have to leave it behind a little bit. It's all up to you how you would phase this out and how you would do that. If you have to leave parts of your religion behind, it will feel very unfair and it will seem very unfair. But sometimes you do have to move things on just a touch. Just aspects, I don't know. I really don't know. Parts in the church, I don't really know because I don't see that anymore. I haven't been to church in a very long time. But there are parts that you might need to just pick apart and just be very careful who you interact with at certain times. But don't let anyone get you down. And in the system that I'm on, don't jump the gun. Never think too far ahead. Always have a plan set back for in case something goes wrong. Always have something sat there that you can use. If it means that you have to go back into part of the system that you've done months or a year ago, then you may have to suck it up and go back just because maybe the specialists feel that you're not ready to go back to go forwards so you have to go back to go forwards seems a bit counterintuitive but it does work they do know what they're doing if you need someone to talk to there are people out there who you can talk to whether it's your family whether it's your friends or whether it's people online there are people out there who can help you there is always help there is always hope don't ever feel like there is nothing for you there is there's always going to be something for you and there's always going to be someone out there to help you people do care about you and people will care about you don't let negativity get you down think forward if it means that you just jump on a train or get in your car, whatever, and disappear for a day and you just go out somewhere that you enjoy going, go do that. If you like going to the mall and going shopping, do that. If you like going to places like theme parks where there's plenty of roller coasters, do that. If you like going to the beach, go do that. If you like wandering around in the middle of a forest because you're one of the people that likes to go hiking or you like all sorts of other random stuff, go do it. Do things that you love. 
do things that you enjoy. It is the best thing you can do when you need distractions. Always do that. Don't rely on drugs and alcohol. I will say that. Never rely on drugs and alcohol to keep you away from reality because it's going to do you no good. Both mentally and physically and on your path. There is a lot of things and I will give you one piece of advice. Don't self-medicate because in the pathing system that I am on, self-medicating will get you kicked off. It will get you kicked off the system just because you could be buying the wrong types of drugs. You could be buying the wrong hormone, especially one which is either too strong or too weak. You could be doing yourself more harm in the long run, self-medicating than taking ones which are prescribed to you. So don't do that. Now, I'm going to leave that one here because I will hopefully be going further into depth into other parts of this. Mainly the help getting the help, where to find it, who to trust, in the systems anyway, and where else you could do. There are other things that I will talk about in future videos. This one has been re-recorded, so I can't remember most of what I spoke about when I was on location. So, for now, it's over and out. Bye guys.